Hello and welcome. This is the Gunya Shelter. If you want to see more how to set it up, I'll show you. Hello. Yeah, I'm out in the woods again. I've got an interesting shelter to show you. It's a, it seems like a cracking shelter. It's the first time I set it up. It's called the Gunya. Apparently Gunya means in Australian Aboriginal shelter. And I come across this, someone directed me over to a channel, Scott is gone walkabout, Australian fella. He uses this shelter and he says it's his favorite and I can see why. So without much further ado, let's get started. Right, as you can see, I haven't got it laid completely out, but I've got it laid out upside down as it were, because there's a ground sheet incorporated in this shelter. What I'm gonna do is peg that corner and come along and peg this corner, keeping it taut along there. So, we'll get a peg in there. Ground's a bit soft, so I might not be able to set it up as well as I hope, and my pegs are not the best ones. And then, yep, pull that tight along there. That is gonna be the front. So be aware, that's the front of the shelter. Next port call, keeping it the same way. You can do it either end, whatever you want. Come to the middle, the middle section that's your wood line bit. And you're making like a triangle, this is going to be your ground sheet. Grab some more pegs. So the side where you've got the two pegs for the ground sheet, corner, middle. Come along that side, find your corner. Pull it to round about a meter away from that one and peg it in. Then the other side where you've only got one for your corner. Come along that same straight line, find your middle and bring your middle across there. So your middle, that's your middle one. And then we're going to put a stick under there and peg it out down to there. You can use a trekking pole. Obviously there are different ways to attach this. There's a little branch in that stick that's gonna stop it falling. I've got jungle knots. Obviously you can use different knots and then pull it out almost in line with that back corner that you got pegged out. Peg her in. Okay, so far this is what you've got. The middle here at the front is gonna be your awning. So again, you find the middle along that side, two in from each corner, and we need to get another stick and do the same thing as that on that middle. I'll take me out off, I'm getting sweaty. So, middle, I think that was it, no. This one, and pull it out like so. I'm just hooking it over because I've got sticks with uh, bits which will stop it slipping down. Line on there, I've got a jungle knot, you don't have to use a jungle knot. Same thing, out it comes. Peg her in. And that is your basic basis of your shelter. But I'll show you what else you can do in a minute. So you can pin this out, lower, higher, whatever whatever you want, or just fold it up out the way. Got a ground sheet in there. That's loads of room. I'm gonna pull this one out as well. Just give me a little bit more room in there, pull it up like that. Onto a tree, onto a stick, whatever. I'm gonna use a toggle in there with the Jungle knot, 
obviously you can use whatever knot you want to do this and just pull it out it won't reach the stick without joining line so I'm just gonna do this I wouldn't advise just resting it on top like that but that's what I'm doing just to show you there you go down the tension should hold it on there for now probably if I would have attached another line or had a longer line I could have just tied it off to the tree which would have been better and as I said your awning you can have it folded back as it was up nice and high like that or down nice and low like that whatever suits you any old bit of stick will do as a toggle again you don't have to do it as a toggle, you could tie a line right on there. Stick my old sleep mat under there to show you roughly how much room you have. It is a one man shelter, but a spacious one man shelter. Acres of room. Could have my head either end, whatever I want. Whatever. I could have set it up a little bit tighter, but I didn't want to pull it too tight because my peg's in the soft ground. But it's a nice shelter. I'll show you something else with it in a second. You can make it pretty much fully, in, well, nearly fully enclosed. Three ways enclosed. I'll tell you what you do and then I'll show you. Basically, you take that stick out, untie that, and bring bring that tight to where it goes sort of naturally so incidentally you need eight pegs so that's down well you could do with nine if you're going to interchange it i've got eight but so all i've done is took that one out and then pull that out to there i'll keep me toggling because if i want to put it back So it's a bit of a funky shape, but have a look in here. I could probably do with just pulling this out a little bit of stick. Let's have a look inside. Yeah. I can hunker right down in here. It is a little bit floppy, but I haven't pulled it quite as tight as it could go. There it is. The Gunya Shelter. <laughs> Cracking Shelter. Anyway, take care. Bye-bye.